Testing. All right. There we go. We got audio. Although I don't know how much commentary I'm going to be adding to this one. Um, but I feel like doing a goalie game for some reason. I don't have NHL 22, so um, we're going to be doing this through 21. Yeah, let's put Flurry in for now. Because I just, I don't know, I just think Flurry's easier to control. <laughs> the better time playing is Flurry. Um, nothing against Flaner. So let's play as Mark Andre Flurry, the Golden Knights. Chat up real quick, just get it up. Just feel like playing some goalie games. Played a lot lately offline. I feel like it's easier to just stream this stuff. Um, just to have it, have a video of it. Let's see. Get movements back down. Right, easy save to start. We'll take a whistle. That's fair enough. Just gonna go ahead and give a heads up. I'll probably end up giving up three or four goals <laughs> in this game, as has been usual with Vegas the last couple nights. Playing as Gold Knights for the last little while. And we're going to go on the power play. And I'll take that. We'll be back with that one sometime this week, I think. Just depends. I was unable to actually stream Saturday and Sunday like I had planned. So, plans went out the window a little bit there. It's me, i got to play that. Well, I don't have to, but there you go. Ooh. We're fine. Oh, turn around. Okay, that's that works as well. Oh, how do you miss that? Well, they're definitely setting it up. <laughs> It might be a clear. No. Offside. Yeah, like I said, I don't really expect to add a whole lot commentary-wise. I don't feel like adding a whole lot commentary-wise. This could be just me playing. Oh, please get here. There you go. <laughs> Getting better at this. Realizing that the key is just A, staying calm and playing your position, and then the other part of it is staying square to the shot once it's in the zone. Stay square, stay square. Good saves. Here, we'll play it. Good save, one save. Always stay, when it's in your zone, always stay in front of it, even when they're passing. Just never know when a stupid turnover might come. I got scored on last night with a turnover in our own end that I thought I played really, I actually did play it well off the turnover, um, but it still beat me. It hit the side of the leg pad, of the left leg pad, and bounced in five hole. So that's just how it goes sometimes. It's totally square to it and everything. So, 
behind your net, hug the post, just be ready for anything. Off the post. Really, you can overlap when it's on the wall like that. So it's not on the half wall like that, just we'll overlap like this. Of course, now we want to start preparing to face another shot. There it is. It's fine. Rebound control has been pretty good so far. Let's be ready. There's a shot. Rebound, track it. A little bit of over. It's on the goal line, so we want to hug the hug the post. Now come out. It's a bit of overlap. Follow the puck all the way out. Man, big hit in the neutral neutral ice. But we have it, and now we don't. Dump it in. Just dump it in. If you got nothing, dump it in. Just don't go backwards with it. It's so dumb. Ah, oh, I tried to get that pass there. Didn't quite settle for him. Point. Don't roll it down low. Ah. Oh. You ready for a shot? Hug the, hug the, there it is. Tried to bait him into shooting short side. It worked. He didn't hit the net. All right, we're fine. It was a close shot, though. <laughs> overlap so we just want to overlap like this oh come back good save blockered into the corner chip that out I would just chip it out let's go down in our VH Ooh. David, man we're, we're under some serious pressure Come on, that should be out already. Oh my god. Bill Castle. Blockered away. Having to make too many saves right now. That's out. <laughs> Man, the pressure is already on in the first 15 minutes. We keep playing like this, it's going to be a long, long game. They need to do something different in the neutral area and defensive zone. Oh, man. They got me on that one. Luckily, they didn't hit the net. They did bait me on that one. Sometimes you need a little help. Yeah, we need to start doing something else. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Not good enough. Ooh, cover. Cover, ah. Oh. I tried to cover and it didn't work. <sighs> oh my god, it's a simple breakout. What are you guys doing with it? Holy Jesus, just dump it in, man. I'm telling, I'm changing something in the intermission. Oh my god. Stupid AI. <laughs> Absolutely no logic whatsoever. I'm over here having to play Captain America. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> save the day, basically. I had to come over here and save the day. Oh my goodness. We'll wait until the intermission. If it's bad enough, we might pause and then change some things. But we need to change some things defensively and offensively. Just weak chances right now. We're not generating, any generating anything. Maybe try and cycle it more. That's a fight. Yeah, alright. Well... I'm skating around behind my net. Let's get out and try and get a goalie fight. Look at those pads, yo. Say hi to the fans. 
for that. Oh, come on. It's a clean, legal hit. It was determined to be legal, as the call was on the ice. It was not a, it was not a penalty. Right, it's out. And turned over again. <laughs> it's just been turnovers. Turnover after turnover. More turnovers than Pillsbury's. Oh. The weakest opportunities for us right now. I don't really know. Change a breakout to be a little more aggressive. What what we're doing right now is not working. Why don't you guys start pressuring him? The four check. Right, now watch the pass. There is a passing option. Got there in time. Good try. But denied. That should be, that might be a shot. Question mark? No, not a shot. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Woo! Why don't you guys try and do something here? Pull up, shoot! Oh my god, you could at least hit the net. What's the shot totals? They had 10 through 1. We had, uh, we had seven, so not terrible. Uh, yeah, it's this. Okay, so we're going to change a couple things. Um, let's get... Oh, I don't know if I want to do more aggressive four check. Let's do that first. Staggered. Uh, where do we tell the teams to dump it in? Yeah, just dump it in, man. I mean, there you go. Dump it in. I don't care what they do there. Uh, let's do behind the net here. Again, dump it in more. Be more inclined to dump it in. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, crash the net's fine. Dump it in. Cycle the puck. Uh, cycle. Dump the puck in. There you go. Uh, hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. It's not, we're not in desperation mode right now. So, we can afford to play a little more conservative. There you, there you go, but out of play. Great, great job. <laughs> Good dump in there. It's starting off strong. At least they're doing what I told them to do. Great start. First play right off the draw. It's a dump in. Granted, out of play. Now let's see if they really work towards grinding a cycle. See if this works out for us, actually. I'm going to let my defenseman get that, obviously. If you don't have anything, dump it in. Oh, that's a great... Oh, look at that. Boom. In the lead, just like that. I am a genius. Other team's giving me a lead to work with. I don't know what Darcy Kemper was doing there, but okay. <laughs> my seats were, uh, where were my seats? My seats when I went to this arena were, well, I've had two seats. I've seen two games at this arena. So I've had two seats at this arena. Um, my seats were on the bench side. Were they on the bench side? I think they were on the side. I think they were to my left of where I'm, where my goaltender is now. So I think that's where my seats were. See, we're starting to play better defensively too. Much more conservative. The breakout looks better. That actually looks like a breakout. My God, and a dump in, look at that. My God, it actually looks like hockey now. Something resembling it anyway. Drop pass, very clever. Oh, Carlson, my goodness. Okay, well, now the offense is woken up, too. So this is great. Uh-oh. 
forced him to have to shoot back against the grain on the on my blocker side. I wouldn't say far side. That was tough because I thought he was going to come in and do a little dangle move and I was going to have to make a big save and they missed the net. So they were threatening. Yeah, Marcia So had a great opportunity. So that line is coming through. So Arizona's still a threat. Oh, off the player and in. It's going to count. I don't know who that is. Cody Glass, who isn't a member of the... Yeah, he's not a member of the Knights anymore. But it's a weird play. Right off the draw. Goes right to the net. One timer. Boom. Real, not an unrealistic looking, looking uh, play at all. Not at all. One timer. Off the leg. And in, I assume, off the leg. I'll take it. More offensive support is better than none. And my little changes to strategy have paid off so far. Don't get out of position. Just track the puck the whole way. Now let's hope Arizona doesn't stall out offensively now as a result. I mean, we're playing better, but... <laughs> I hope they don't stall out entirely. Because the game is really just 180 here. Complete 180. Oh, yep, got it. That's fair. A whistle is fair enough there. Good save. Just need to see a shot just to get, you know, just to feel some rubber for a little bit. Bit of a loose rebound there, but to cover it up is good. Oh, should have dropped the butterfly, but we got away with that one. Look at that. Uh-oh, delayed penalty, though. That's the part I don't like to see. Oh, off the outside of the post. Stay square. There we go. Did what we needed to do. <laughs> Nerves of steel, man. I hate when it does get blocked by traffic like that. Just flip it out. Flip it out. Go conservative. It's a penalty kill. It's out. Shikran's going to retrieve it, but it's out. Hayton. Don't be Hayton. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! That is the sickest save I've ever seen. Holy crap. Highway robbery. Oh my god. Call the cops. Call the cops because... Oh. <laughs> Mark andre Fleury, you absolute beast. Animal, child, man, beast. Look, oh my god. The robbery with a glove. Oh, on the goal line as well. Sick save. Unbelievable stuff. Here's another angle. Look at all the angles of this. All the looks. This is beautiful. Well-timed. Point blank. You can't see it as well from there. but the, And the style points as well with the rolling around. Like a pig in the mud. Just to make it a little more dramatic looking. Here's the overhead cam. Play comes back the other way. Gets played along the boards. Step on wins a board battle. There's the robbery. It's not as... not a, Again, not a great view there. Broadcast view. Here's the play as the puck comes back in. The board play. See Step on down there winning it. And then point blank to Connor Garland. Robbed. Oh, the dramatic flair on that save. It's not so. This is a not so good look because the net's in the way, but still. Oh, look at that. Great save. Might be one of the best saves I've ever made. 
in this game. That is sensational. Man, that looks it looks like a tap in. It seriously looks like a tap in. You see Stepan wins a four checking battle over Petrangelo, or I assume that's Petrangelo. Just a little weird to say he's in a Golden Knights jersey. You see, I'm still hugging the post. Then I come back across and snatch it out of midair, away from the goal line. Flurry says no, not today, not in his kitchen. There it is right there. Oh, man. <sighs> Titty sprinkles, what a save. Can you say Sports Center top 10? That's going to be on every highlight reel for the next 50 years. Okay, that might be exaggerating. Oh, another big save on Garland. Another save. Nice. Oh, I can do this all day. <laughs> Woo! So Arizona power play is pretty good. I'll give them that. Good stick. Raid McNabb, you're a legend. You deserve to have your rating bumped up just for that play. Great stuff. Oh, nice glove save. Oh, Kessel with the try off, I think, the outside of the net. And the Coyotes are pressuring again. So, so much for the relaxation period there. Woo. Take a breath. <laughs> Take a breath and relax for a second. Oh, another delay. Oh, no. Another delay call on the Golden Knights. And another power play coming up for the, uh, for the Arizona Coyotes. As I'm trying to think about what I'm trying to do here strategically. Let's go to passive box. Because we were diamond on that penalty kill. Diamond strategy. So passive box now to kill this one off. Please win the draw. Where did that puck go? Okay. Oh, I don't know if I got it. Another big save. Clear it, please, for the love of all that is holy. Clear it. There you go. <laughs> Goaltender is your best penalty killer. Could not ring more true tonight. Save that. Don't give up a rebound. It's been one of the biggest things on this pen on these two penalty kills is rebound control. We fortunately hold the rebound steady there on that save. I don't know what that was the highlight of. That was right before the clear, I think. That actually looks like Phil Kessel. I'll give you... It looks like Phil Kessel he lost a few pounds and became a fisherman. I don't know. I don't know where the fisherman <laughs> came from. Oh, not a great rebound. Don't love that rebound control on that one, but still. A save is a save. That should be right back in. Oh, that's why you send it right back in right there. Good save. Again, the rebound. No. Oh, Phil Kessel. It was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. We gave up a tough rebound. I knew that was going to be the play, and I had to make a desperation attempt. But, you know, it, it was going to happen. It, it, it was just... We were just begging for that to happen the way we were playing there. We need to play a little bit better down low. You see, I come back for the desperation, but Kessel with a great, well-placed shot on the rebound play. See, it just goes right to him. Nothing I can do. I do want to see how close I came in the instant replay. Is, uh, we've seen 22 shots already. This is out of control, guys. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it goes right to castle. You see, I just now realized it's gone to castle. Desperation attempt. Oh, and by probably pure millimeters here that we just miss a save. Look, getting back. Timed it well. Oh, it looks like it was off the post as well. No, off the mask. I'm not sure. No, off the post? I don't know. The collision physics are a little bit weird here. Uh... It's hard to tell. No, this never came close to the mask. Maybe it just looks like it changes direction. No, it doesn't change direction. It hits the back of the net. That's what changes it. So we came that close. Had to make a noggin say a save with a noggin here, and it's actually not that far off. A few inches from making a save. You see, I don't. Where am I? So let's just look this back here real quick. Shot. We're square to that as you can be. I mean, you can't be any more square to that. Perfectly square, save, boom. This is textbook. Good save. Rebound, but I mean, it's under control right there. Then that little stick movement right there really screwed us. Hits Theodore. Bounces back in front of us. Theodore tries to get it. Loses it. Gathers it again. Loses it again. And then castle, and I'm just trying to stay with it. I see it's right there. I'm trying to just stay with it, see it right there. And then I realize, oh no, castle's got it. I gotta make a last ditch, you know, desperation attempt. Oh well. So shutout gone. Can't feel bad about this one. I mean, 22 shots through half a game is just insane. I don't feel bad about that one. Uh, I do feel bad about that rebound. I gotta control myself a little bit. I was trying to get the right button. I was pressing triangle for some reason, sliding all over the place. Okay, we gotta go back to aggressive offense. It's not working. I'll put it right back up. Don't take any more penalties, though. For the love of God, please, no more penalties. Oh, good, good defense in front. At least they're playing well at five on five. I could have that defenseman planted there every time. I'd be a little more, you know, uh, less worried, I guess. That shot was nowhere near. Micro adjustments. Just make micro adjustments. The goalie doesn't have to move as far as the player does or to adjust to a pass or to a movement of the player or the puck. Only doesn't have to make that many adjustments. I don't know if I got a piece of it or if it was blocked, but I'll take it. Oh, a good save! Wasn't ready for it. Alright, which side, which side, which side? Anticipation. Guys, we gotta get this freaking thing out. You gotta go. This is a joke. I can't change the strategies defensively from in-game right here. All right. It's, it's about time we start playing down there. <laughs> so all the ice on this end is chewed up. It's about time we start playing down there. Just back in. Oh, my God. Oh, oh no. Hayton. They see me rolling. They hating. Oh, no. And... The, oh! Oh! Oh, they're going to call goalie interference? I was stuck in that position. I couldn't even get up. If I, I tried to let go of the button and he still wouldn't get up. But they might wave this one off. You see, it's right, <laughs> it's right there. I, <laughs> I had no chance. I hope, they, I hope they wave this off for my own sake and my sanity. I've been peppered tonight. And they are waving it off. Wow. I will happily take that. I'm assuming it was goaltender interference. I was stuck in that position and vulnerable. Guys, this defensive effort is just not good enough. We got to change it. 
We gotta change this. This is not a good effort defensively. Third period change is coming up. Oh god, get ready. There's gonna be a turnover. Okay, good try. Alright. <laughs> it's actually been a good game so far. I've been shocked at how good this game's been. Textbook save, just sealing the lower part with the butterfly. Good save there. Looks routine, but it's still not necessarily the most routine. Sometimes the easiest saves are actually the hardest. Good save there. You gotta be thinking about multiple things. The rebound is probably the biggest thing. Is what about the rebound I'm gonna give up? Oh, there we go. We're starting to get something going. We have been limited very much offensively in this game. So if you could shut him down right there. That'd be perfect. Save. On your feet. There you go. Perfect. Good play there. Martinez all the way. Score. Oh, man. I don't even think he generated a chance. And that should have been held in. Should have been held in. Good play there on the blue at the defensive blue line. Let's see, it's not out yet. Tuck still got it. He's going to dump it in. That's a good play. All right. <laughs> We've escaped harm, and we almost had two goals against in that period. We got very lucky with the play where I was stacking the pads. That they were called for goalie interference. Apparently, when I was stuck in that position, the contact they made with me counted as goaltender interference. I'll take it. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's just really weird that that didn't count. That was a big save. That was almost. That was a near goal. We'll take a look at all these saves at the end. 27 shots through two periods of play. This is long from over. This is far from over. Craziness. All right, so, um, apparently we're full four check. Uh, let's go to, let's back it off a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. And then defensive pressure, uh, collapsing because we, need, we definitely need to collapse to the front of the net. So they're getting all kinds of chances point blank and right in front of me. So I'm not liking that. Don't like what I see there. All right, started off well enough. And I don't know how that's not an immediate shot. I don't know why you would think twice about that. Unless you just absolutely think there's a better chance. But that was a pretty good chance to just take a shot. Got a shooting lane, take one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I gotta hug the post here. A good defensive play. The, the D has actually come up with some decent plays defensively in this game. So, what was that? I don't know where it went. Okay, I lost it for a brief moment there. Thankfully, McNabb had me covered. Shot. Uh, he did have patch ready. He could have shot for a rebound. Two patch ready. That's what I would have done. I don't expect AI to have that full uh, IQ there. <laughs> see what happens with it. Garland takes it in. Got it to Dvorak. Might be a shot. Rebound. No, why would you, go why would you do that? Oh, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I'm not telling him to do that. There's, oh, there's a great, great initial save. And then just, what the hell was that? Oh my God. This game is so screwy with me right now. Oh my God, man. What a joke. All right, and it's Phil Kessel again. Well, happy birthday. Even if it's not your birthday. Gifted him that one. <sighs> Merry Christmas. Sucks knowing that I was there on the initial. I don't know why you would come out to do... Whatever. Oh my God. And Castle's dangling our defense now. Great stuff. Yeah, there you go. Make a smart play for once. Actually, make a smart play. We have not put on any offensive pressure. It's not been sufficient. There you go. I swear, if Castle gets a hat trick, I'm going to be really pissed off. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just dump it. Just get it out. Clear it. Do something. I'm going to call them to go to full neutral zone trap in a minute, but we do need some offense, so. 
part of our problem is probably we're too too um, offensively minded. <sighs> Being forced to make big saves. I mean, I've made some really good ones in this game. The D hasn't been the greatest of help. They've helped me out on some big plays, but at the same time, they've let me down on a few. Also, Flurry's animation to go diving after that loose puck did not help. I'm telling you, it's like we just can't break it out. I'm getting this one. No, 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 no. I, oh, are you kidding me? You can't play that. Now I'm stuck on the net. Man, this game is glitchy as hell. <laughs> Shikrin can't even play it. Time to start thinking about the trap. Good save. There you go. Help each other out. A lot of dump ins. Just probably not contributing to the greatest of offensive numbers. Uh, ooh, that's risky. Oh, it worked out. What a brilliant play. And then Reeves can't dump it in in play. I don't know what this is a highlight of. Oh, that save. It's the most pressure-filled game now. Come on. I mean, they can't even make simple plays with it. All right, I got lucky. I'll cover that. No, 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 no. They had that set up perfectly. It's like a three on one. I don't know how they don't hit the net on that. Oh, stolen with the glove. Well, I see 40 shots tonight. Man, this dumping. I may have moved that slider a little too far because all we're doing now is dumping it in. So I'm going to go in and the next whistle should be right now and I'm going to change that. I have to make so many saves in this game. That is not worth a re... Oh, that's worth a replay. Yeah. It's all... It's the Mark andre Fleury show. Alright. Let's do a few slight changes because this just isn't working for us. Uh, no. Just strategies. And it's... Isn't it the lines? Yeah. Okay, we're doing way too much of that. Way too much. You guys got to know when to when to do that. It was fine when they weren't getting entries, but when they weren't getting an entry into the zone, it, it was fine, but it's just too much. <laughs> I jacked it up just a little too much. So that slider was a little too far cranked up. There we go. Oh, it's about time. Finally. That was a really good looking play. I don't know how many shots we have because I didn't look when I paused it there. So, but it's it's not nearly as many as Arizona has. Now we're starting to get something. Kemper hasn't been tested in a while. Meanwhile, I've done nothing but work in this game. And my body of work's been really good. Really solid. Oh, Kessel, my goodness. He's threatening to score that hat trick. Both goals against. I kind of had to make attempts at saving them in desperation. I'm really glad that that one where the pad stack happened was called off. I'm glad that didn't count because that was embarrassing. Sometimes, you know, you get into an animation. Oh, what a ripper by Marcia. So, and that could... Steal it. That could be a big... That's a big goal in this game. A game that's been this close. Um, 
what was I saying? Sometimes you get in an animation and you get stuck in that animation. That's just how the game is. It's nothing I can do about it. It's risk of certain animations. That's a good save there on Kessel. That's risky to play that. Castle wants the hat trick. That's a good play to move it in there. That's when I want you to move it in. You got nothing. You're a defenseman at the point. There you go. Looking a little more structured looking. Oh, good try. Oh, good job to jump in there. Shot. Oh, yes. Now this is how I want us to play. This is how I want us to play. Look at this. Much better. Look at this. Amazing stuff to watch, actually. Poked out the center. So now force a reset. You could dump it in there and I wouldn't complain. That's fine as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The mercy's a little slow. That might be a shot off the rush. Nope. No shoot. Good play by Martinez. Stone cut back. There it is. Oh, one-timer looking for it. Oh, man. Stone is coming very close. See if the Coyotes dump it in. No, they don't. Hayton turned over to Tuck. Oh, Tuck's got a breakaway. Score. He does. Alex Tuck. That could put this. That'll put this one. Surely that'll put this one out of reach. I can probably just relax a little bit now from here on in. Well, I expect Arizona to make some adjustments. Five eleven remaining. I don't have to be perfect, but I would prefer to be perfect from here on in. Goligoski. Offside. Yep, there we go. I can just kind of relax now. I love it. Should be a 4-1 to one game or something like that. That set, Both goals should have really never gone in. The second and the first, first one. Two on one. Good try. Good decision to shoot there. Now it's gone the other way. Play's been all Vegas. Oh, Carlson. See if they go more aggressive with it. Goaltender pull. Oh, not yet. It's too early. Still too early for that. All gold knights. The last six, seven minutes of this period. Another turnover. Uh oh. Oh, good saves, good saves, good save. Take the whistle. Yeah, get out of my kitchen, Hayden. for that face off. Oh, big glove save on Pitlick. Oh! <laughs> Rolled through the crease. I got lucky there. Dumped in. They, the goaltender will be gone this time. He's going to be gone next time up. Kemper's gone. There goes Kemper. Oh, don't do that. Don't bring it out in front of the net like that, please. Just score on the empty net. There it is. No sec. There it is. That's it. That's all she wrote. I feel really good about this game. <laughs> we played really well. I got it. Good interception. I mean, we played so well defensively. There it is, just dumping it in. That's it. Going to be a W. Maybe one last chance for the Coyotes. 
try and crack the net here. He missed the net. W, yes! Man, what a good game. That was a big game from us. Probably the most shots I've seen in a single game as a goalie. Absolutely shut the door tonight. We'll see the save totals, shot totals in a minute. That was, I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> uh, came right out to Kessel. Thirty-six shots, two sh two goals on thirty-six shots. That's a solid game. That might be first star credentials. What are we seeing there? <laughs> okay, great highlight there. Second star, Phil Kessel. That highlight just keeps showing over and over and over again. <laughs> Down and out. But Marc-Andre Fleury, first start, 944. That is one amazing save percentage for having seen 36 shots. Crazy game here. Now we'll take a look at all the saves. Well, as many as, in, as, as is in the highlight reel, at least. We'll start with the beginning of the first period. So the first shot we saw was Nick Schmaltz. was the first shot of the game. Routine looking safe there. Then we saw one on Derek Stepan. Again, pretty routine looking. Good rebound control early. Weird angle here for a shot on shot by Hayden. Love to see just cutting that angle down, making it very difficult to score from there. And Pitlick, such an interesting name. <laughs> the rebound isn't great there, but we were able to get back across and cover for the poor rebound control. But it's just kind of one of those angles where, what are you gonna do? You're gonna give up a poor rebound anyway. Phil Kessel, that was a big glove save on Kessel. We had a couple of those in this game. We need a, we need, we need a couple of looks at this one. And there it is. Wow, right off the edge of the glove. See it right here. And then again, following the rebound the whole way as well, just in case there's a second shot. Kessel again. Looks like it's off the blocker. I'm not totally sure. It's not a great high percentage shot to begin with. A good blocker save. Kessel again. <laughs> so many shots. We'll have to see how many shots Phil Kessel had during this game. What is this? Oh, shot. Then he follows the rebound, wheels it around behind the net. It's a pretty basic looking play. Yeah, pretty basic. Shikrin. That's a pretty high percentage chance there. That's in the slot. High slot area. Not really on net. It was going to miss, but still made a blocker save anyway. Just give ourselves an extra save. Hit lick again. Can't really tell where this came from, from this angle. Okay, so it was down. Okay, that counts as a save, though. Not much of a, not much of a, of a save. Then step on to end the first period. You see it go back door. That was a really good save. Well timed. Able to anticipate and get over there just before Stepan could try to tap that goal home. And then, wow, look at this. Look at the string of shots by the Coyotes. Wow. Um, we have Hayden. This is going to be quite the journey to look through all of these. We have a ton of saves here. That was the one where we had the rebound, where it was a little iffy on the rebound, but we controlled it with the glove there after it got behind us. Could have rolled in. That was dangerous. 
Dvorak. In the, that's a dangerous opportunity. So good job to shut that down. They came at us with a flurry. No pun intended. Of opportunities. But flurry was to the task. Whew, that's a close save. Actually, it looks like I just got it with the toe. Yep. But a save is a save. Got... Connor Garland, this is the robbery. This is the highway robbery save. Look at all the looks at this one. This is a crazy save. Save of the game. And quite possibly one of the best saves I've ever made playing the goalie position. It's the backdoor one-timer, basically. I do wonder, was this going in, or was it going to go wide? Oh no, that was going in. That was going in. And you can see the moment of robbery right here. That's crazy. That's a crazy save. All right. We've seen a lot of that one. Then Gar Connor Garland again off the face off. It's a good save. Again, tracking it out as well after the save and then just covering off the, the net in case there's a shot off the rebound. Fortunate, fortunately, right after the face off, so we had time to adjust after the initial save. The goal was to make the save and then adjust ourselves. Then Hayton, I don't know what this is. That's oh, a short side save. Those are always the toughest because the AI can just walk right out, but you gotta hold that post. You have to. My defense was giving me some help tonight though. I gotta say, like look at the tie up by Petrangelo on Garland. That helps Garland again. Oh, man, I, I just did get to this one. I don't know what this is. Again, walking out short side. So a tough save. I didn't seal the lower part, you'll see. But I still got it with the pad, so. Right there. Oh, man. I could have gone in. I don't know if we'll see a good enough angle. Yeah, you see it right there. Wasn't fully in the butterfly on that save. But it doesn't matter. Phil Kessel. Glove save again. Not entirely sure what happened on this. Just, I think I just got a piece of it. Yeah, it was a high slot on the rush type play. Still a good glove save. Good rebound control too. <laughs> off of that one. Putting it in the corner. And then again, following it up. As we track the puck away from the net. feel like ever since I've actually stepped in that in real life, it's helped with my game in this. <laughs> no joke. I feel like I'm playing so much more confident. I'm playing more positionally sound. I'm just playing the basics right now. and It's helped a lot in this game. The Just the basics and the fundamentals. I'm just playing all the basics and fundamentals and it's helping me. We just saw the Kessel, another Kessel chance. He had to have like seven shots. There's a save on Dvorak and look at the rebound control. Swallow that puck up. Don't give a rebound. Hold on to that puck. Then Dvorak again, way outside. Don't love the rebound control on this. That could have been nasty if we didn't get some help on that play. See the rebound pop right out. See it better here. Right there, we got help on that play. Blocker save, so that's the thing about a blocker save. 
Blocker saves usually spit out rebounds. They're not meant to absorb pucks, really. Then Schmaltz. Initial save, but then again, oh, this is the one that led to the Phil Kessel goal, isn't it? Yeah, that led to the Kessel goal right after it. Larson. Oof, the rebound was tough on that one. That was like, that was the first save I had to make after Kessel scored the first goal of the game. And I had to get myself back into the game, and I was also pressing the wrong control, so I was a little bit flustered on that save. But then I got back to basics. That was almost a goal by Hayton. This is, is this off of a face-off? It looks like it might be. You could say almost got past me. But again, adjusting just enough to get there. Oh, man. The rebound is good, though. Big save. I'll show you an instant replay in a second. Just how close we came to giving up a goal here. Just how close this was to going in. Big saves. Just jump in and let's just see just how much of the blocker this gets. Pass across. Right out front to Hayton. Good blocker save. Getting over there and getting positionally sound enough to take that away. So we got more. We got there more than I thought we did. I didn't think we got there that quickly, but we did. We got there well enough. Obviously, we made the save. Kraus. Oh, this stuff chance is so difficult. But again, staying with it. This saves like this one. Just build your confidence. Make you feel good about your game. Oh, that's so tough because you don't know when he's going to shoot it and what he's going to do with it. So you got to just try to stay with it. That's a great job, in my opinion, of just staying with that. Staying very cautious. Wait for the shooter to make the move and then commit. Don't commit too early on this or you will be down and out. So good save. Just fundamentals. It's just basics and fundamentals on that one. Then we have Dvorak, still not at the end of the second period. I wonder how many shots end in the second. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Just basic looking save off Dvorak. Good rebound control again, though, in the corner. Right where you want to put it. If you can ever put the puck in the corner, put the puck in the corner. She will control the rebound better that way. Gives you time to reset and prepare for that next shot. And then Schmaltz to end the period. That was it for the second period. And again, this is just a routine looking save. Is there a front angle? Is there one that is a front angle that shows better? No. There you go. There we go. Okay. It's kind of a front facing angle. There's overhead. Third period. Final period to play. Not as many shots, I think, in this period. Much better period by the Golden Knights. That was the save that led to that wild rebound that I panicked. I didn't actually panic. I was... So when I drop in the butterfly here, I press triangle and I had it held down and I think that's what caused him to reach for it, but I don't know why he reached for it there. There's no need to do that in that situation. So this is Hayton again. Oops, we had a great overhead look there. Shot, save, rebound, looks like a second chance opportunity. That was stolen, was stolen away by Theodore. Yes, it was stolen away, so they didn't get a chance on the rebound, but I was there for the rebound as well. You see me follow as if he was going to shoot on the rebound. It's so just staying with the puck. I got some help from the defense. My defensemen were actually helpful in this game, so I actually got help from my defensemen. Oh, he shot through a nice screen there. Not the easiest thing in the world to read. Still looking for the overhead camera. We'll flip through them before we get to it. Eventually it will give me the overhead again. Ah, here it is. Save. Let me see, it gets stolen away there. Hayden. Not Hayton, but Hayden. Just a short side save. Ekman Larson. He's now in Vancouver. Big glove save. Halfway through the third. And then Ekman Larson. Just good rebound control there. Trying to get the confidence back up after having given up a second goal. 
you just want to start stop giving up like you want to limit the, the damage at that point basically that's what that save is damage limitation castle again glove save a little intimidating facing castle after he got the two goals for the coyotes schmaltz again just using the body and the glove glove is working well tonight oh man wow we gotta go into instant replay on this one i think i just got a piece of this the rebound goes up behind the net see i'm just trying to figure out where it's going to go after that after the initial save yeah, we're going to go into instant replay on this one just to get further clarity as to how close they came to scoring on this one but it looks like just the webbing of the glove gets a piece of it The importance of being square the biggest thing in this game is just squareness we're not even entirely square to that shot to be honest i'll show you in a second and it's replay uh, we're not in, we're not exactly the most square to the to this shot here initially let's see if we can see how let's see if we can get the vantage point of the puck so where's the release? Where's it released at? The exact release. So it is released here. Where's the puck? So if you're the puck, uh, we're, we're pretty square for the most part. I mean, yeah, we're pretty squared into that. Oh, but it is just barely a save. So we're square to the initial shot, but we move over too much right here. And oh my goodness, that's going in. That is absolutely going in if we don't get a piece of that. We get just enough of it to change direction. Man, that's insane. And that was the last shot we saw. So it says. I don't think it has all the shots there. 36 shots. A um, couple things I want to look at before we call this game. Uh, we saw 17 in the, third, in the second period alone. 17, which is almost the same amount as the first and third period combined it's too shy of that amount uh there's the scoring su face off summary goals shot summary and phil castle we'll take a look at his stats he had eight shots in this game i think i said seven i was very close he took eight shots we had a 944 save percentage 32 saves on 34 shots what about kemper uh probably on, did he have i don't know how many shots he saw 900 something? No, not quite a 900. So, I didn't know how many shots he saw though. 27. So, four, 5 on 27. Well, one was an empty net, right? So, I think we got an empty net goal. Uh, we go to... Is it Action Tracker? All the goals? All periods? Um, third period? We did get no sec on an empty net goal. That's right, yeah. So... He gave up four shots. But yeah, that's it. What time is it? 10.30. Oof. Do we feel like we could get another one in? Do I feel like getting another one in? That's the question. So that was a pretty good game. don't know if I feel like getting another one in right now I may I may I may not I don't know let's randomize teams if we're going to do it Islanders and Oilers okay who's going to get home I'm not going to play as a goalie this time. Islanders will get home. And the Oilers. Where's the Oilers? Is there alternate? Right. We're going to reverse retro. How does that look against the Oilers? Jerseys. Oh, the color scheme is too similar. Way too similar. 
Um, we'll just go with the home jersey then. I'm just going to play out. Not as a goalie on this one. All right. Time to do battle. Lost the opening face off. Arlamov already has to see a shot. I got to readjust now. I'm being in the net to playing out as a skater. Oilers are all over us. All right, well, Barzali's got its skating ability. Oh, my. Oh, nice try. Very nice try. Uh-oh. Okay, well, some things need to be shaken up a bit defensively. Good start here for this game. Ugh. All right, well, at least we're changing lines. Don't tell me. Was that McDavid? It was McDavid. Well, Connor McDavid scored. Oops. I didn't mean to press that button. You got it. And the Oilers are all over us. Out the way. Oh, why did you stop going after it? Also in front. Ah. Uh. Might be one of those games where I need to change strategies. Ah, oh, blocked. Okay, rebound try, or I technically, could you call it a rebound? Rebound off the block. Looking for a tip. Not available for me. Uh-oh. I'm chasing a little bit. Oh my god. Penalty kill time. Let's try diamond penalty kill to start. I'm gonna try to win this in the corner right here. Nope, didn't work. I'm gonna go for it until they force us to dump it. They force us to clear there. We didn't even really get get out. Uh-oh. Good play by Clutterbuck, but it's a bit wasted. Uh-oh. Sorry, Varlamov, I'm trying to get it and get it out. Zekas off the glass, that's fine. A little risky though, if you put it out of play, it is a penalty. Good defensive play, oh, just had a reach for Clutterbuck. Uh-oh. Go Clutterbuck, David held up, he waited. Fair enough. Straight out. Okay, we've changed D and forwards. Okay, so we're fine. Good looking, looking good on that side of things. No, get it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what I was nervous about. Okay. Whew, this is going to be a rough one. This is going to be a rough one. We're going to have to find some sort of play here. Four checking wise or something. I don't know what to do now. Oh, 
Ah, an easy save for Koskinen. I'll have to keep the first pair out. Um, yeah, this, this line can be behind the net, but I'm going to go in and change strategies if we can't find offense in the next little while. I know we just came off a penalty kill. Oh, my God. Pelic, that was stupid. And... Move it, move it, move it. Down low. Stop. Oh, we're going to get a power play. Move it. It's free play for us. Try and get some guys involved here. Maybe draw another one. Okay, that's not possession. Nice move. And off for Pulak. One-timer. Oh, nice try with the tip. All right, we got something going there. Now the power play needs to score. Okay. Not a great start to lose the draw, but gonna give this team a chance here on the power play before we freak out. There's a good pass to Everly. Held on to it. Oh, whoops. I need to pass that off the outside of the net. Oh, nice try. We found Anders Lee in a slot. I'm going to leave that line out there, assuming that's the Lee ever. Yeah, leave those guys out there for right now. Barzal. All of them. Oh, they just not went in the phase off here. Minute left. Can't get it by the 32nd mark. Going to be some changes to. Going to change the power play units. Fake. Back to the point. To Bailey. Oh, Everly just cranked it. Oh, nasty. Barzell right in the high slot. That was a beautiful pass. That was actually not the player I was looking for, but it works. And I did carve up the penalty killing defense with that pass. I'm shocked. It's a beautiful play. So I'm looking, looking. He opens himself up for that, actually. He goes around to get into the, into the slot area and just gets a perfect one-timer right in the wheelhouse. The patience paying off on the power play. All right, guys. Good stuff. We have one. All right, if Edmonton takes penalties, we might be in a little bit of trouble tonight. Oh, that's me. Oh, offside. Yeah, Bailey was the guy that set that up beautifully. Everlay. Did I really miss NHL old gen? I'm going to go back and play. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Mercy. I'm sorry, but we gotta do something against this line when they have it in the neutral zone. They're so fast. <sighs> Keep getting burned. Ah, the windmill doesn't work. Alright, get back, get back, get back. Get back on your defensive positions. Uh uh. I'm trying to move it. Nelson, that's fine. Bailey, the power play master. Oh, Bailey is a beast. He is making some plays. Second assist already. So it didn't look good. On one end of the ice, we made it. We got a big save. Came right back the other way and have rebounded. Thank you, Beauvillier. I'm starting to wonder if we sit back a bit offensively. We have been getting burned, but it's mainly the line with Yamamoto on it. I don't know what line that is. Second line? Might be the Oilers' second line. But that line has been burning us, so you got to be careful. Hammered in. Of course, Koskin in the play. Yeah, there you go. Ah, 
Um, <laughs> I don't know what that was. That he was attempting there, right in front. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ennis. No, I'm not fighting for that. Ennis, Ennis injured. He was definitely lit up. You gotta keep your head up right there. That's a massive collision. Oh, he was injured. It looked like he's getting up real slow. This does benefit the Oilers to play four on four, I think. Good save. Dobson. We need to get defensemen back. Go to the net. Go to the net. And we need create a play for that scenario. So you can just tell the AI, go right to the front of the, of the net. Simple play. No. Wide. Oh, very smart play by, by Ethan Bear there. Hickey. Again. That might be out of play. No, it's in play. It's in play. Go in there. Back to 5 on 5. Oh. It's out. Oh. Looked out. Undersley. <laughs> Just had to make a smart play with it. Oh! Koskin did not make a smart play with it. Cut him off. Right there. Back out. Oh man, lots of neutrals on play. Whew. That's fine. That's actually not a bad play. Oh, Nick Letty is there. Nice play. Back in. Eighty slap shot. I should do it. First period in the books. Even at two. Been a pretty crazy game. First 20 minutes. Can't even get a clean dump in there. Yep, that's a trip. To the kill. I think we killed off the penalty earlier. We'll have the penalty stats on the bottom of the screen. I don't know if we killed one off earlier in this game or if they scored on it. No, they didn't. They didn't even get a shot on it. So that goal did happen at 5-on-5 five five just after the fact. But he's going to get back. Couldn't get it all the way down. That's out. Play. Oh. What 
Raiders already gotten a shot on this penalty kill. So they're, oh, that, whoa. They're doing one better so far than their last attempt. Play and Sezikis will chase it down. Tyson Berry. I didn't like that. Yamamoto's on the ice. You got to pay attention. This line has been good. He's been fast. In. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, man. Get the stick there. Man. It's that same line. Man, I think, well, no, it's a different line. Oh, Barzell wasn't there. Not a great shot, but just trying to create something. If I could have taken a low slap shot there, maybe. Oh. Oh, that was an interesting strategy. Ah, uh, no one there. We were changing the defense. Ah, oh, forced it. Definitely forced it. Looks like that's it for the McDavid line. It is. Josh Bailey has been an offensive master in this game. Let's see if he can come up with another one. Ah, oh, just tried to find Nelson there. Didn't work out. Almost did, though. Not far away from another assist. Came with him. Can get back. It's in. Komarov has tied it. Resilient team here. It's kind of resilient team. It's a big goal there by Komarov. Oh man, Sizik is a good poke check. Get back and forth we go.
Go. Oh, what a play. Boom. Back to back goals. Zizekas creates that with that little move on the half wall. <laughs> Along the wall and the entry to avoid the body check. Oh, and an Oilers player is stuck in the celebration. <laughs> that poor soul. Oh, man. What a play, though, to find Clutterbuck. Back-to-back -back goals, just like that. I'm not sure who the Oilers player was, but uh, there was an Oilers player stuck in the celebration, in the Islanders team celebration. Just like that, it is 4-3. to three. Now, will you control the game for once? Oh, oh, baby! Oh, right in on Koskinen. He had to make a big save. The Islanders threaten for a third straight goal. That was a great play, too, to create that. Oh, so close. You have Barzell, right-handed shot, back door on the left side. You're gonna, you gotta make the pass. You gotta at least attempt to make the pass. check it going to work but not quite creating anything ooh they've messed up saucer pass but that's fine ah oh, it's been that kind of a game man Back and forth we go. It's been that kind of a game. And just like that, they tie it. Man, back and forth. How many goals is this game going to have? I need some help. Oh, man, very close. I knew that was going to be their breakout look. They find it. Cass. Oh, man. Oilers trying that same play. Man, if that worked out. Game's going to get a little bit chippier now. Blocked away. Oilers coming back in with all sorts of attack. I think we're going to get a sh penalty shot. Well, in that case, I am going to switch to goalie. Uh, goalie mode on. All right. Oh, yeah, nothing. Made him deke himself out. All right, that was a good stuff. That was some good stuff there. Whew. And we just glitched through that guy's hat. <laughs> Excellent stuff. On the other side, good breakout play. Oh, what a play by Bovillier. He finds Nelson. Back to Bovillier. Yes! Give and go. Second time a play on that half wall has created a goal. Now it's time to start trapping because this has gotten a bit ridiculous. Is Koskinen going to get the pull? You'd have to wonder... I'm not saying he will, but it could be a possibility. Nope, he's still in. Islanders attack going right at it. Goal 
Defending has been optional. Oh, God. Defense has been optional. Oh, get it. And Bailey, another assist. Ooh, that spin move was not optimal. Oops, there's no one there. Oh no, Hickey, get it out. Oh, what a pass to Clutterbuck. Peels away, fakes, gets around, drop, Mayfield. Oh, nice try. Bit of a late hit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man, that play by Letty may have helped. Cleared out. And that'll end the second period. What a wild game. Back and forth we go. I'm glad to see the Islanders team practice will be open to the public. Let's jump in. Oh, look at that move by Barzell. Now it's Lee. That's the point. Feeds it down low for Barzell. It was intercepted. Uh, someone want to get in front of it? Tripped up. Everly's tripped up, and that'll be a power play. Looks like McDavid is the guilty party. He is guilty of tripping. So let's see if this magical power play can go back to work. Put Josh Bailey out there. Josh Bailey is out there. The man who has, I think, three assists on this game. Let's try for Nelson. Koskinen is going to have to freeze it. We have one timing options. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do there. Oh, and the Oilers are going to go at it on the attack here. Shorthand. Very interesting strategy. Bovillier to Nelson. Oh, robbed. Koskin, a great glove save. I think it'll take Bailey off the power play. It will. Somebody want to open up for a potential one-timer? Back door almost found Everly. Oh, great try. Lee, to the point. Back to five on five now. Shot just over the net. Barzal stops. Fakes. Tries to find Everly. Look, this, look at this uh, Islanders offense go. That shot's wide. That was a floaty shot well wide. And that's going to do it for the attack for now. Played by Pulak, but he doesn't get it. He had McDavid taken off the puck there. Good block. And that should alleviate pressure for now. That might be an icing. It will. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. What have we done? Koskinen's like, let me get out of the way. Some extracurricular activity after the whistle between Barzell and... Caleb Jones. Looks like Barzell's going to win the fight. Unless something happens, he does. I don't know why we did that. We just lost a big player for five minutes for fighting. Matthew Barzell and Tyson Berry getting in the way. Get out of my way, son. 
Yeah, that little stick check right there by Barzell, a little bit too chippy after the whistle, and he didn't like that. Oh, that just wide. Yamamoto's such a threat right now. You've got to do something to contain this guy. There he is with the puck. Oh, Wallstrom had it, lost it. It's fine enough. Nope. Oilers trying to open up a chance for Yamamoto, but it doesn't work. And that should be that should be dumped in, but it won't. We can take our time retrieving it. Ajo. The chip play from Wallstrom works out perfectly. Wallstrom, he's in. Uh, lost it, but Koskinen will freeze. A chance to change the lines and the pairs. And the apples. <laughs> Apples because of the pears. It's such a such a bad joke. Stick save by Koskinen. Oh, and Everly brings it just offside, trying not to bring it in offside. How much time remaining? 12.07. Plenty of time for the Oilers to generate some attack. They're gonna need to play in their end. Cover that pass. Good. Oh, the rebound. And this one is tied once again. So, so much for that trap style play. We gotta go back to finding some offense. Oh, Neil is in. Can I get some help? There it is. Play him hard. There's Leo Komarov. Has a goal in this game. Oh my god! Komarov! What a move! Holy crap! Leo Komarov, so amazing. The team's celebrating outside the boards. What a move to get around the defense. Look at this. Oh, splits the D. And then tucks it, I think, under the blocker. I'm not entirely certain. Look at this move right here. Between the defensemen. Oh, <laughs> he absolutely torched them. Oh, that was so sick. And it is six to five. Islanders. Kom Excuse me. <laughs> Komarov has his second of the game. Look at this move right here between both defense. Oh my god, perfectly timed. That is highlight reel. We have some we have seen some highlight reel plays in tonight's stream, and no less Leo Komarov between two defense. <laughs> that is just such a satisfying play to watch back. Look at this. Komarov brings it in on the wing, off the rush. Had a teammate he could have passed it to, but he made the selfish play and it worked out. Koskinen has just not been very good tonight. Just another look at it. Multiple angles of this. Oh, right there. So nasty. So nasty. Beautiful. Really, you won't really see the move so much here. Let's just see how the puck goes in. Right off the post and in as well. Just under that blocker side. Perfectly timed Deke. AI didn't stand a chance on this one. <laughs> oh man. These moves rarely work out for me. So to get one to actually have worked out where I torched the D and score. Feels so satisfying. It just feels legitimate. Does this play?
Nothing fancy, just a simple move between the defensemen. Power move to the backhand, and he gets around him. All right, I think that's the whole highlight. <laughs> that's your highlight package there. Highlight real goal for Leo Komarov. Now that will be on Sports Center tonight. That's for sure. Uh-oh. Good block by Sezikis. Oh God, the Oilers are getting the Islanders running around a little bit here. There's Komarov again. Let's see if he can do it again. Same defense when he just beat. Darnell Nurse. Nice play on Kara. That's not a penalty. Good stick by Sezikis as well. And that'll allow us to change up real quick. Sezikis playing well in the defensive zone in this game. Some really great plays on that one shift alone as well. There's Josh Bailey. I think three assists in this game. Looking for another. Looking for another. <laughs> Look down low. Dobson can't hold it in. And I'll be flip dumped back in for the Islanders to go hunt down on the forecheck. And they do. It's Josh Bailey right after it. Bailey back in behind the net looking for a teammate. Dobson keeps it. Holds on to it. Down low. Mrs. Beauvillier gets it right back. Then hands it right back to Cara or Kara. Good play by Bailey, and Dalcall has it. Dalcall out to center. Dumps it in. Dobson, a good poke check. Islander is playing really well with the sticks right now. Keeping play going back the other way. Good play by Pajo. Dobson tries to get it back in, but he was thwarted. Wallstrom a shot, and Koskin in a save. Pajot loses that draw. Good stick on dry sidle. Here comes Wallstrom again. Pumps the fake. Cuts away to the outside, looking for a teammate. Shoots on the backhand, a save by Koskinen. 4.28 remaining. Plenty of time for the Oilers to get one back to tie this late. Barzell, shot blocked away. Back to Everly. Back down low to Barzell. Barzell looking for a teammate. Does, oh, Pelic missed. Just missed it. Could have held it in. And the Islanders will go play retrieval. Lee with it. A windmill move that gets to Barzell. He shoots. Rebound. Lee off the post. Oh, some good opportunities. That could have almost certainly shut this down, shut this game down. Could be a missed opportunity that you'll look back on. And you will, as the Oilers have once again tied it. James Neal ties the game at six. What a crazy game we got going on here. Let's see if the Oil or if the Islanders can answer again. Maybe just need Leo Komarov to make a highlight real play. Here he goes. Komarov again. Tries a windmill, but Larson was having none of it. Komarov a missed pass as his man was going for a change. Nick Letty on the break in. Letty gets in, gets to the inside, finds Pulak, a shot blocked away. Back, Letty again, shot, re save, rebound off of Koskinen. Guys, I don't, still with it a couple times. The rebound forked wide by Yamamoto. Pajot, good pass to find Pajot. A spin around move that I don't know why you do that. Pajot still with it though. Tries to throw it back in. 
Dreisaitl comes up with it. Mayfield, a big hit on Dreisaitl at the blue line. 46 seconds left in this absolute thriller of a game. Pajot to the outside, fakes a shot, cuts back, looks to the point. Couldn't find the pass, he lost the handle. Poke, poke check attempt on Cassian, doesn't work. Hickey, uh-oh, Turris scores. And this game is not looking very good for the Islanders. They might need a quick timeout here. Time to, time to call a timeout. And time to go for it. Time to just go for it. Crash the net. And it was just a, a breakdown. See if we can get one by just having everyone try to go for offense. We're going to pull the goalie. If we can win possession, we will go for it. Aggressive face off. Right, we need to try to win this face off. We have 27 seconds to do something. And the goaltender is pulled. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Running out of time here. 10 seconds with the net empty. Uh oh. And that's it.